This is Princess Cooch05, and you are now watching Libro Incredible. He has amazing videos, so don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Well, okay, is Libro Incredible, Mr. Triple Thread, Side Step, Swizzag, motherfucker, this that my team gameplay in the fourth seed. This is my first game. This kid has Chris Paul, Clyde Drexler, Gerald Green, Jerry Lucas, JaVel McGee. Um, hmm. I'm looking like this nigga ain't beating me. Uh -uh. Look at him setting up his shit. I ain't even doing nothing. I'm going to let him set up his shit. I'm going to let him set up his shit so he get his ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is the first time I've seen Clyde Drexler in my team. So I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm expecting he's going to be something like LeBron and Gerald Green. Just dunking all fucking day. Um, so we'll see. Oh, man, look. First play of the game after the tip. He get that nice little dunk with JaVel McGee, man. Oh, my Jesus, dude. This is crazy. I don't believe this right now, man. But um, what I was about to say, oh, yeah. So, you guys, a lot of you guys were saying that y'all want me to keep doing my career and my team. So, I guess I'll do that. Oh, man, I end up turning a ball over right here, man. What the hell? I guess I'll end up doing that. And um, I will be coming out with a mix. Is it a mix or montage? Whatever you want to call it. I, yeah, I will be coming out with one of those soon with my mod player. You know, you, if you guys know anything, I always do montages and mixes. But this one I'm actually going to have made. So um, it's going to be something like my underrated mix from um, my boy Zalaco. So we'll see what's up with that. And another thing, this is actually, well, this is my first game with my new legends, um, Lou Hudson. Look at Kobe. Oh, he should have made that. Lou Hudson, Sam Jones, um, LeBron with the steal right back. Um, let me see. Lou Hudson, Sam Jones, Sean Kemp. Um, who else to have? Well, that's all I had on the team, but I actually got more legends than that. If you guys haven't seen my latest pack opening for advancing to the fourth seed, then you guys might want to click the video right, mm, right before this or whatever. I just posted it um, the other day and it's a it's a lot of shit in there a lot of legends um i i also have moses malone i got moses malone after like maybe a few games in the fourth seed um it was kind of random like a lot of people I, I always usually like check everyone's theories and what they doing and stuff like that on a pack opening so i try to watch a lot of pack openings just to see you know what people do to get what you know what i mean so you know i always been doing the method where you know i play a game and then i open up a pack and i usually get a player or whatever or i'll empty my roster and see if that works but this time i lied to you not i had my whole roster nothing straight gold all gold like trinidad james man i had nothing but gold my gold roster and i actually got moses malone it was crazy i was like are you kidding me right now are you kidding me i thought it was a came at first i was like oh shit yeah you can ask my boy uh 2bg nation he was he, I, I was like yo bro i just got fucking moses malone like no shit dude it was like early in the morning i just just i just had a couple like I maybe had like 2000 VC or something like that. I just opened up a random gold pack and it was him. I was like, oh my fucking goodness. Are you serious? I said, okay. So, and I actually ended up, was it, was it Sam Jones? Did I, did I put Sam Jones back in the collection and use Moses Malone? Something. I can't remember what I did. And, um, I sold jo J Josh Smith, Jay Smooth, whatever you want to call him. You guys know that already. Um, look at LeBron with the still past the Peyton. Let's go. So yeah. Um, I'm really, I really love my team, man. Like I have, I have the all black right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, later on in the seat, I actually changed my jerseys. Um, yes, I, I already recorded these videos. I just needed time to edit them and like put commentary to them. So I'm actually in the third seed. So I don't really want, like, I want to get Jordan, right? And I also think I have enough time to get them and, you know, put them videos out for you guys. But I also need to do some my career and I don't want to have my channel just like I don't want to have it just one sided where I'm just doing um, just all my team. But I think for the rest of this week, I think I might actually just have nothing but the, four, the rest of my four C videos um, to come some great matchups. I want to get some tough teams and 
you know, even even still going against tough teams and playing against my opponents and stuff like that, that, that were they stepped up from the last seed. But I think, like, my team is just solid. Like, I got it all. I can shoot the three. I can post up. I can do a pick and roll. I can do float. I could do it all. You know what I mean? There's nothing that my team cannot do. Like, and... I just, yo, if you guys want to know how to make a beast team, you need to have a variety of players. Like, you need people that can do it all. Like, okay, say for instance, like Andre Iguodala, his shot isn't the best, but he can still knock down shots. But his defense is great. So you get him for defense, and if he score a few baskets for you, which would be like putbacks, alley-oop dunks, regular dunks, hit a three here and there, hit a jump shot here and there, saying that that's that's a win right there, you know what I mean? So I, I decided to pick Iggy over James Harden. I actually sold James Harden and put him back in the market and, you know, say open some packs. So that's like what – that's the same thing I did with Sean Kemp and Josh Smith. Like, they was – they the same type of player to me, for real, for real. But if you could do the rating-wise, and Sean Kemp is actually 6'10", so Josh Smith is only 6'9". And I had enough – I had enough people around that height on my bench and on my team already. You know, Melo 6'9". I mean, Melo 6'8". Durant 6'9". LeBron 6'8". Yeah, you know I mean, I had them three people right there. And in reality, I didn't really have nowhere for Josh Smith. Like, it was hard for me to find time for him. But Sean Kemp, I could actually put him at center. I, I, could, put, I could put Josh Smith at center, but... I, I don't know. I just think Kemp was better. You know what I mean? His vertical was better. His dunk was better. His rebounding was better. His block shots was better. I mean, it, it just to me, and he was he was faster too. So that was another key thing. I need my people to be fast. You know what I'm saying? I think Josh Smith was like a 70 something speed. Kemp was an 80 or 80 something. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, that's what I, I, I want him. And then another another leading factor for me was that. Sean Kemp was a legend and Josh ja, ja Smith wasn't a legend. So I wanted to have more legends on my team. So look, man, we go into overtime and I'm pissed about this because I should have won this game. So in overtime, you're going to pretty much just see nothing but me as David Robinson get the basket right there to go. Turn, make him turn the ball over. Come on, man. Let's go. Kick it to Kobe. Nope. Floater. <laughs> and I missed that. LeBron right back with the... And you can say the put back, but you know, right back up with that. Yep, it was just all me and um in overtime. Look at him, he trying. Nah, -uh, nope, nah, -uh, dog. Now with your, what's that, Gerald Green? Nope. And then look, I stripped the ball. Then he then he got the ball back and he tried to kick it out and I ended up taking the ball again, man. Like, come on, you already know where I'm going, man. You already know I'm going right to him. I don't care who on him, man. Let's go. You don't want this work, man. Mamba, Mamba time, man. Damn, want it. They don't win it at all. I'm up by six. Look at Clock Drexler with the easy dunk. You know, I'm, you know, I'm kind of mad about that, man. And Kobe right in his face. Man, look at Gary Payton with the still. You know, going right back to Kobe, man. It's overtime. Ah, in the paint, looking like Jordan. You know see, <laughs> yo, it's over, man. It's over. It's over, man. Kobe with the ball shake on Clock Drexler. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna make that. Oh, he was supposed to make that. Nope. Look at him trying to get busy with Joe Green, man. Get out of here with that shit, dog. I ain't trying to have that, man. Nope. Look, Kobe again. I pull up for three. And it's Zen. Got to get him out of here, man. Got to, man. Got to close him out. Got to close him out, man. That's that confidence right there. I always be confident in my shot. Folks, you always got to be confident as Kobe knocks down another three to nail it. Put the nail on the coffin, and I get a steal. And it, I don't care about that. But um, before I get out of here, make sure you guys rate this video. Like it. Thumbs it up. Leave a comment. Make sure you guys do that. And make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I encourage you guys to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I interact with everybody. Oh, in the sub session, I'm still doing those, man. I'm just so backed up. Uh, I'm just backed up, guys. Like, seriously. I'm trying to get all these videos together and trying to get them out. So, 
I really don't be having time to just like play the game with you guys like that. So David Robinson with 21 points, two assists, four rebounds, and one steal. Player of the game again? Look at David. Oh man, Kobe with 23 old over, over there. Damn, 10 for 18, 3 for 6 on oh, threes. You know what I mean? Where LeBron at? Yep, look, I'm surprised he didn't have LeBron, man. But, you know, he had a nice little team and shit. Let me go ahead to the team stats, see what it was. Okay, 6 for 17 for me. He 4 for 13 for 3. Not that bad, you know what I mean? He kept going to the line a lot, though. But I'm going to get out of here, man. Make sure y'all rate, comment, and subscribe, you know?